Isn't this hypnotizing? Well, we all love Galaxy, so let's go ahead and check out the supplies we need to paint. We will need white watercolor, cerulean blue, cadmium orange, cadmium yellow, with that ultramarine blue, I'm using white watercolor ink. You can use any white that you normally use. And with that, I'll also be using white acrylic. And I'll be using a quill brush. This is a mop brush from the brand Brustro. And I might use my Princeton Long Run brush number six. So we need a paper towel. And with that, for the paper, I'm using Canson Watercolor XL. This is a 300 GSM watercolor paper, 9 by 12 inches, pretty big. I love this. There are a lot of people who don't like using this because it's only 25% cotton. So I will show you a method which is called a stretching that will help you to keep your paper buckle free. For that, what I'm doing is in a plate of water, I'll be dipping my paper for five minutes. So let it rest. And once this is done, we will just lay it flat on your surface. Tap it with paper towel to dry off the edges and tape it. And this is all ready to begin painting. This will prevent buckling of the paper, so do dry it. So the first thing I'm doing is applying my center of the galaxy, which is the sun, in cadmium yellow. So this is pretty basic spiral shape that I'll be doing. Pretty easy to follow, so keep watching. Now this area is a little tricky because the colors might mix in with each other so be very careful like in my case it's almost started to smudge so with a dry brush I'm picking up all the colors and reapplying it once again. Guys, if you're new to my channel, I welcome you all. Do check out the playlist for watercolor classes along with many watercolor tutorials, also acrylic tutorials. Happy painting, guys. So my ultramarine blue has been applied and now I will take the black color and start applying to the edges. So guys, you must be knowing that watercolor dries very light. So make sure that your black is as rich and as black as possible. If not, then just apply the second layer as I'll be doing as well. So guys, I hope you're enjoying this tutorial till here. If you do, kindly consider subscribing and also let me know under the comment section if there are any particular topics you would like me to make video on and also do hit the like button. That means a world to me. So guys, I will be making a lot of new styles in my coming videos. I have at least five videos planned right now. So stay tuned as those videos are coming very soon on this channel.
So my first layer is dry. Let's reapply one more coat of colors. Now I'm using watercolor ink to start making my stars. I'm using an old toothbrush here. I would highly suggest to use a toothbrush because the fine stars that we can achieve through this doesn't come with a paintbrush. Here I'm circling the bigger dots so that it gives a faint glow. And here I'm applying white acrylics in the center of that glow so that the center is very white and then a fading glow around it as in a long distance big star. And now let's remove the tape. So a gorgeous galaxy is now ready. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you would also be able to make this. If you do make it, do tag me on Instagram at Easy Paintings by Ishita as I'll be waiting to see what you have created. So guys, thank you so much for joining with me in this tutorial and I hope that we will do many more tutorials in the future. So see you soon and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.